Hey, what's up? Welcome to Live.BestTakenDown, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions and everything technology related. This is our fourth video today, and uh, we got a request from the chat room, or I got a request from the chat room, to do a video on WordPress plugins. What WordPress plugins do you use to make your blog function um, if you use the WordPress platform? By the way, WordPress is a free blogging software that you can install on your web server or on and host your own blog. They also offer a free um, blogging platform such as Blogger, which is their WordPress.com setup where you can have a username .wordpress.com and have your own blog there hosted for free. Um, so what, what plugins do I use at besttechie.net to make my blog um, function the way it does? First off, I use a plugin um, called Add to Any, which is a sharing and a saving bookmarks um, plugin, which sits at the bottom of every single post in my blog and allows you to bookmark it and share it to multiple services like Dig, Reddit, you know, bookmark sharing service like Google Bookmarks and things of that nature. And you can save the bookmark or you can share it with other people. Um, delicious, whatever, whatever it is you use, this has like almost everything in the book all the time and they're constantly updating it all the time with new services that appear so add to any is my is my first plugin that I use second is one that comes built into WordPress called a kismet um, which is or kismet I don't know how however it's however it's pronounced that's a, either one of those two ways I assume is the way it's pronounced and basically uh, what it does is this this uh, plugin is a uh, comment um, spam filter so basically what it does is is what happens is when some a spammer now there's a lot of spammers on the web today that come into your blog and they try and post spammy comments to links to other websites either you know porn or you know wares or something and they want you to click the links and what this thing does is it filters almost all the comments that are spammy and uh, doesn't post them and if one or two get by every so often and you just mark them as spam and that's that's it um, on in your comment section on your blog so this Akismet does a great job at uh, filtering spam comments better than anything else I've ever seen um, built for WordPress. I know there are a number of other ones coming out, but I use this one because it's built in and it works very well. What else do I use? Well, I use another plugin called All in One um, AdSense and YPN. All in One AdSense and YPN is uh, essentially it's just a it's a plugin that allows you to enter in your own AdSense. Um, uh, publisher ID as well as customize the AdSense to look and match your blog in one little plugin and it publishes them on every single blog post that you specify you can also specify that it not publish them in a particular post so you can tell it don't post in this one but you can post in the rest of them with a little piece of code um, it tells you what to type and it's very easy to set up very simple does it all the work for you. you don't even have to generate the ad it'll do it for you based on what you specify uh, another one I use is called All-in-One SEO Pack. All-in-One SEO Pack is probably one of my most favorite plugins for WordPress. And what it does is, is it creates a um, an easy way to make your blog search engine friendly um, and optimize it for the search engine. It does um, URL rewrites. Um, it does uh, descriptions. You can add little descriptions and tags and keywords into the blog post to make it really really nice for and search engines just will eat it up just eat it up but like like it's cake and uh you know the best bakery in town they'll, they'll love it and it really really works trust me it's wor been working wonders for me i highly recommend it another one i use is called feed burner feed replacement this one is very simple plugin all it does is it takes my rss feed at the top of the page and it just converts the the typical one into the feed burner one so when you click it it brings you to feed burner instead of um, just my regular old RSS and another one I use there's a, so many but here's another one called Google Analytics this one's just named after Google An Analytics and essentially what it does is is you put your code in there and so instead of having to place it in your footer this just makes sure it goes everywhere and there's nothing to worry about it'll track all your your stats for you with ease another one of my favorites coming up right now is called Google XML sitemaps now what this is, this is a very simple and easy way to create a sitemap on your website. Um, and sitemaps are another key to search engine optimization. 
Google loves when you a website has a sitemap. So this thing, basically, you activate it, you ins you, pl you install the plugin, and you activate it, just like every other plugin, and you create a little file in your uh, home directory, and you name it, you, you follow directions, you create a little file, and then what you do is you go to the settings, and you have it, re have, you have it what they call build the sitemap. And every time you publish, it'll update the sitemap, and it'll ping uh, the G Google and whatnot, and it'll let them know that there's a new entry. And other search engines as well, does MSN or Live, does Yahoo, etc. So this, this is a great little plugin. I love it a lot and works wonders. Another one I use is called Contera Con Content Link, um, which is basically the Contera Content Link um, plugin made by Contera. And it allows you to input your Contera Content Link ads right into your blog post with ease. No, 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 not really much setup. You just choose the color and enter in your ID, your publisher ID, and you're good to go. Um, yeah, I have like three more. So whatever else I use is called the la uh, the third one, third to last is called Twitter for WordPress. Twitter for WordPress allows me to actually, if you ever go to BestTechie.net, the front page of it, you'll see my Twitter feed. This is Twitter for WordPress. It allows me to pull the, my Twitter feed and stick it on the front page so everyone can see what I'm doing at all times. Uh, the la the second to last one I use is called WordPress.com stats. WordPress.com stats is nice a nifty little plugin because it records stats for your website it tells you where people came from the search the search terms they use it's a great um, co uh, complement to Google Analytics and it really really functions nicely it shows you how many people the the, the most um, visited link for the day and it does it for all time in the last few days and so on and so forth but what's really nice about it is you can basically anywhere on wordpress.com or any other blog that you use the same key for same API key, you can view your stats for all the blogs via one login. So that's something I like about it. It's really sweet in that sense. Last but not last but not least, and certainly not by any means not good or not worth you know not worthy, uh, is called WP Cache. WP Cache is a excellent little plugin for WordPress. It requires that you have um, access to create a symbolic link though. So if you don't, if you do not run a dedicated server, you might not have access, or at least if you don't have SSH access, you might not have access to use this plugin. But it is um, a caching plugin, which allows you to cache your pages on your blog. So let's say you ever got on Dig, right? Front page, people are coming in, swarming into your blog to read your article, and your, the, the server gets overwhelmed. What this does is it caches the page so people can still access it and not have to worry. And you don't have to worry about your server going down completely. So this is a very, very nice plugin. I, I like it and works wonders. Um, what I had to do was, the, only for this one, I had to make it stop um, caching the index. And I'll put a little link to uh, the write-up I did on how to stop it from caching the index of your blog. The reason I did that was because what happened was, because of my Twitter for WordPress feed, when it was pulling on the front page, the Twitter, it wouldn't ever, it would never update the Twitter feed unless I cleared the cache. So now what I do is I have it, I don't let it index the front page, the index page, um, along with the admin panel, which it does by default. So I'll have a link to how to do that if you want to have your Twitter feed on the front page. Very simple, easy to set up. Those are the plugins I use for WordPress. I'm curious, but what do you guys use for WordPress? Leave a comment, let me know. Of course, this has been live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech and answer all of your tech questions. And of course, we're streaming live Maybe not 24-7, but we always have the live chat room going on. We currently have 98 people in there. And uh, you can stick, stop by, say hi. I'm usually hanging out in chat. If you have a question that needs immediate assistance and no one's in chat, feel free to post on our forums, best take it on it slash forums, and uh, you'll probably get help there. We have pretty fast response times on the forums. But uh, then again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.